We welcome in Lucas Giolito to Caps Corner, brought to you by our great partners at Great Clips. The other day, I don't want to get into all that went on, so much has been said, but it looked like your team really came together, and it's been a galvanizing moment. Would you agree? I agree. I agree. Um, T, there's something special about TA where um, in that big moment uh, when, you know, things are a little crazy, uh, whether it just be baseball-wise or, you know, other things, uh, he always rises to it. And, uh, you know, last year with the uh, Field of Dreams game, this year uh, with everything that, that went on last weekend, hitting that home run, uh, there, there's something special about him, and, and it it really just brings that energy and that fire uh, to this ball club as a whole. Uh, and yeah, that, that was a special uh, that was a special day, and I think that it helps fire us up and keep it rolling here. What was a cooler home run to be watching as a fan? Like you weren't on the mound, you're sitting watching it. The one at Iowa, mm. or the one over on Sunday. It's a tough one, man. The the one the the one in Iowa last year was so special because it was like the the climax, the ending to a movie. Right. Uh, you know, the whole day was was just something special, and and to kind of cap it off with that. Whereas the one yesterday yesterday Sunday. two days ago was fueled by so much emotion, um, and. For me, like any, I, I really enjoy pitching on the road and shutting up the opposing fans. You know, you, you give up a run early, they're going crazy, whatever. And then, you know, you can, you know, find that rhythm, find that groove and, and just kind of silence the stadium and suck the life out of the stadium. There's like something about that that I really enjoy. And so Tim did that with his bat uh, uh, that night. And I mean, Yankee Stadium went from super crazy and, and everyone booing him and, uh, you know the, the energy was was very tight with the, the zero zero ball game. And then we explode in that inning. Tim hits the homer, shuts them all up. Uh, people are leaving. Pretty the, cool. The, something very satisfying about that as a visiting club. So I don't know. It's it's hard to pick one. It's hard to pick one. They're they're both really special. Michael Jordan once said, "I love the Chicago fans. There's nothing like playing here." But to walk into another arena have them absolutely all over you and to quiet them down is the coolest feeling an athlete yeah. can have is that true i agree yeah i uh you know making the home fans proud uh you know for me as a pitcher getting the standing o after going seven strong innings or something like that uh it, it's it's a great feeling but on that other side where I, I think it's that competitive nature in us to where you can shut up a whole stadium you know thirty thousand plus people it's pretty cool Tell me how you're feeling how you went through the battle with COVID. This is a team that's been up and down at the start. There's a ton of talent here. How are you and how do you feel like your team is responding? I'm doing pretty well. Uh, you know, it was a, it was a weird week uh, having to be away from the team and, and dealing with being sick and everything. But, um, you know, it came back last start. Wasn't really feeling 100% yet, uh, but was able to find a little rhythm. Um, and I'm hoping to build off of that uh, tomorrow uh, hopefully there's no rain and yeah I mean our team we've been dealing with a bunch of weird stuff this year uh, especially injuries and now the COVID things kind of coming back and going around so we, we just got to stay on um, you know our mission our focus uh, you know we've been missing guys all year uh, unfortunately and you know it's all all about that next man up uh, I know that we got uh, Berger back up here uh, to help out with with Luis going down with, with the COVID thing, so that's just uh, the name of the game right now. We just keep uh, pushing forward. Can some of these moments last weekend, whatever it is, actually galvanize your team, where you go, that was the flashpoint where we took off? Potentially, potentially. Um, I think that we have to we have to stay focused. Uh, we played really really good baseball that series, uh, even the game we lost. I think that. Uh, you know, we were in it. We were, you know, doing everything we could to try and win that game. And then, you know, the next day, bounce back and, and win. Winning two games in double headers is a hard thing to do. So uh, we were able to make that happen. I think that, you know, we just have to continue to uh, feed off of that energy from last weekend. Um, you know, stay, like I said, stay focused, uh, stay in the present moment, try and win each day. 
and uh, we'll be in a good spot. Yeah, I look at your team and I look at you, and I've watched you since you came here. You and I did the convention. When you first came to the Whites, it seems like you have a mound presence now last year where you're in complete command. Do you feel that? I'd say so. I'd say so. Uh, you know, even if you don't feel like you're in complete command, that's what you got to show out right. there, you know? Perception's so, reality. Yes, perception's reality. Um, you know, even if you got to fake it till you make it sometimes. Right. Uh, but I think that that comes with experience. Um, you know, I've experienced enough success over the last few years to, to really be confident in my ability each time I go out there, uh, whether I'm feeling 100% or not, it doesn't really matter. I know what my job is and um, yeah, it's uh, for me very important to, you know, kind of set the tone uh, for any given game I start and, and uh, mound presence, uh, looking confident, feeling confident out there is hugely important. I wanted to ask you this question. When you are looking, you have a game plan. All right, we're going to start this guy with this, and we're going to throw the – and your gut tells you, that, that's not the pitch I should throw. In the end, it's leaving your fingers. It's your call, not the game plan of the catcher, right? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the final decision is always yours. Um, you're the, you're the one uh, in control of the game like we were just talking about. Uh, you have to have 100% conviction in the pitch that you are throwing. Uh, as soon as you throw a pitch where you might be questioning it in your mind, like right before you deliver it or even like during your delivery, uh, you're putting yourself in a bad spot because when you don't have that focus and conviction of like almost knowing before throwing it that this is going to be the right pitch, this is going to be successful, then um, you're not putting your all behind it. Uh, so that's when you can kind of, you know, start to, to miss a little bit and, uh, you know, the hitter can take advantage. So um, it's very important that, you know, for for us, we're throwing, you know, hopefully 100, 100 plus pitches in a ball game and going as deep as we can. Uh, it takes a lot of focus, a lot of concentration to just feel confident in every single pitch you're throwing. And, you know, sometimes it takes shaking off. Sometimes you get into such a nice rhythm that uh, you trust just kind of, yeah, you trust it. You let the catcher do his thing. Uh, and you just uh, kind of go with the flow, and you're going to feel that every single time. Last one, I sat down with Mark Pryor one day, and he said, my biggest regret is I finished a start, and all I thought about is what do I have to do to get to five days from now for my next start? I didn't enjoy the experience going to restaurants or taking my wife and kids to the zoo, just enjoying whatever city we were in at that time. Are you enjoying it? Absolutely, yeah. I, I think that, and, and this is something I learned uh, a few years ago, in 2018, I, I had a very down year, and, and I was just miserable uh, on the field, off the field. And when I was able to make the changes and everything and, and start to put things together, I realized that you're going to have a lot more fun uh, playing this game if you just have trust in your abilities, uh, you, may, you have fun when you're out there. Uh, you put a lot of work in the preparation phase, like for us, the four days leading up to a start, when you're at the field, locking it in, uh, getting all the work you need to get done, trying to get that like 1% better each day, uh, all the cliche things, but but they're very true. But, you know, when you step off the field, when you go home, see your family, uh, you know, enjoy being on the road, uh, it's important to, to savor and uh, have appreciation for what we get to do and, and uh, all the fun that, that it brings. Appreciate your time. Absolutely. Thanks Sounds a lot. Good. That's Lucas Giolito here on Caps Corner.